This word problem is a typical word problem used with quadratics. Right now I recommend that you push pause in our video and read this problem to yourself several times before trying to attempt it. Now that you've done reading the question, here's what we need to focus on. It's we're rounding to the nearest tenth in our answer and that the receiver has to be six feet above the ground when he catches the ball. So here's the function that they were giving us. The one thing that we do know is that normally this equals zero. Well, it equals six right now because the receiver is six feet above the ground. Now, you cannot solve the quadratic or use the quadratic equation when it equals six. So your function has to equal zero. So we're going to subtract six to both sides, which would make this negative one. From this point, we can label our a, b, and c and start using the quadratic function using a calculator. Now, you're going to get a decimal answer. So you want to go through this as slow as possible, and you want to be as accurate as possible when you're plugging things into the calculator. Well, with the quadratic formula, we have our values a equaling negative 16, b equaling 30, and c equaling negative 1. Now we're going to plug that into this equation right here, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now, you have negative 30 plus or minus 30 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times negative 1. Okay. Well, this value is all over 2 times negative 16. Okay. This is going to lead us to have negative 30 plus or minus 900 minus 64 all over negative 32. That's going to lead us to having negative 30 plus or minus radical 836 all over negative 32. So make sure that you're pausing this video one step at a time to see if you get these calculations with your own calculator. Don't just assume I got these numbers out of nowhere. You double check and learn how to use your calculator to make this happen. Well, let's continue. This is going to lead us to have negative 30 plus or minus. In your calculator, take the square root of 836. You should get a decimal that looks like this. 28.9136645, and it's going to keep going and going and going and going. All over negative 32. Now to actually find the answer to this question, what you're going to do is you're going to break this into two parts. One of these being negative 30 plus 28.9136645 all over negative 32. In your calculator, you're going to take negative 30, and then you're going to add 28.9112, and you're going to get this number, 0 0.0339. Well, this is not our answer to the problem. A quadratic has two answers, and what happens is this is saying the ball just left his hand and the receiver is going to catch it. So that's not very likely. Um, we're, we're, what we're t trying to do is we're trying to throw the ball to a far distance. So you have to say, not really my likely choice. And even if you rounded it to the nearest tenth like the direction said, it'd say zero. So it takes some seconds to actually throw the ball. Now you have one last final choice, and that is to take negative 30 minus 28.9136645 and divide it by negative 32, and you're going to get 1.84 seconds. This is much more likely of an answer, and since we're rounding to the nearest tenth, you have 1.8 seconds as your answer. So this entire problem is just calculations. It's a longer one, and you're going to need to be very careful when you're plugging it in. 
but you should be fine as long as you go slow, make sure your double negatives are correct, and that you're not trying to push things too fast in the calculator.